This episode is going to deal with projection mapping. And projection mapping is a thing that has kind of come on the scene in the last four or five years, and it deals with projecting images onto surfaces to create an illusion of something that's there that's not. Like uh, if you wanted to project onto a building, you can do a lot of interesting things with that and look like the building's crumbling or morphing into something totally different. If you go online and see all these videos, it's really amazing of what they're doing with this technology. Now, I've never done this before, so this is kind of my entry level week of trying to learn the software and just play around with it a little bit and see if I could possibly pick up on anything that, that I can incorporate with kind of all the practical effects I do. We're going to do a sample map projection on this mannequin face. So we'll talk a little bit about the interface here. You have these five little control buttons and that just takes you through some different settings here. And the only ones I really use for the most part are these two right here. And when you open up, you first want to make sure that your stage size matches whatever your projector is. And you want to go to full screen mode. And my projector is a 1080p projector, so we're gonna go 1920 by 1080. And then you go to this projector icon, click on main projector, and see the output size says 1024 by 768. We obviously want to make that 1920 by 1080. Then we'll lock it back. So let's make that a little smaller, and we wanna make this yellow box go right over top of the white box, and it usually locks in place. Import our file, so file, import media and you can do the same thing with with movie clips if you wanted to but we're gonna keep it simple and just download a an, a TIFF sequence that has an alpha channel in the in the back so none of that black will show so we'll open that okay so as you can see here we have our our images I'll put in a one file this left window here it's kind of like your preview window where you manipulate clips in here and then on the right side this is kind of your output window of where it's what it's actually going to look like so the same way final cut pro works where you have your preview on your left and then the right side is your final output is make is use these test cards as you can see these test cards are checkerboard black and white and the more checkered pattern you get, the more detail you're gonna have, kind of, with being able to skew and angle your, your shape to match wherever you want it to be projected onto. You would go to this next icon here and click there, and then you see these shapes. You got a square, triangle, circle, and then a mask button. So we want, let's hit, click on the circle icon. And you can see a checkerboard pattern appears. You see how I scale it there? It now scales it in the final output window. And now we can look at our mannequin face here and we wanna size it down to where it's just covering the face. Okay. Now, I know this looks kind of tricky, but really, once you start playing around with it, it's not that hard at all. And what you can do here is you have these four corners here, and that changes your skew on each corner. And when you're really fine tuning, you click on it and it turns white, and then you just use your arrow buttons to fine tune it. If you just click and hold, you can rotate it. So we're going to make a square this time. 
And what you can also do sometimes if the images are kind of messing you up for getting the right angle and skew, I, I sometimes will just put it back onto their test card because it's a lot easier to go about doing that with these, the checkerboard padding as opposed to using that image. So this needs to be a lot smaller. And for now that'll work and then we can always go back and then I'll hit images and now it goes back to that. But we can scale this down and I got this little pig nose here. Maybe make it a little longer. We can do that by scaling it on our corners here. And maybe scale this down now. Nice old pig snout. So now we want a mouth. So we'll go to this icon and click another square. Scale it down here. Get it over this mouth without not put, you see when you put that in, if you have the orange here a little bit, you see how that comes in the shot. So you, you wanna make sure that you just have what you want to grab and don't accidentally grab anything else. So we got this mouth here. So now we scale this down. And we move it into place. I moved a light that was hitting that face so that probably is a little easier for you guys to see now. What we probably wanna do is, yeah, make another oval. And I'm gonna go and go back to my test card. And I'm gonna bring it over here, try to match it up as best I can. Drag down. And drag. And I'll get the neck later. We'll just worry about the head. So we have that now. So let's click back on faceful parts and we can scale this down and we wanna select this orange. So you see when I select the orange, it now comes in. But we wanna have this circle here at the bottom of all this. So as you see, I moved it down to the bottom and everything else comes out on top now. So that's kind of the crash course on Mad Mapper. This is the demo version. The normal version costs $500, which really isn't that bad. The only bad thing with this is, with the demo is you get projected at quarter speed and quarter resolution. And there's a watermark of Mad Mapper on your projection. But if you're really trying to create something that you can show to people, this one, this, the demo version isn't the best. But for learning the, the program, it is, it's, it's great.